What's up guys? My name is Aaron, aka Super Liger Tiger, and this is Worth It. Welcome back everyone. In case you forgot what Worth It is, I buy a product, I let you know the good, the bad, the ugly, and in the comments below, you let me know if it's worth it or not. And while you're here, make sure to like and subscribe so that I can continue to make more fun videos like this. So today on Worth It, I want to talk about these. These are the first generation Apple AirPods. And at this point, these last about five minutes before they die, no matter how long I charge it. So in a way, they're essentially useless now. These, in its pretty cool case, are the Apple AirPods Generation 3. But when we look inside, there's nothing in there because somehow they fell out and I am a dummy for losing them. So instead of being pretty sad about it, I decided to use this as an opportunity to check out some earbuds that I kind of had my eye on that I don't really know how they'll go. So today on Worth It, we have the Nothing, if they zoom in and focus, the Nothing Earbuds by Nothing? No one? Nowhere? Let's open it up. So these are the ear sticks, which I just found out right there by reading, by Nothing. Nothing being the company, uh, it, I'm very confused as I keep saying it because it's weird to say nothing, but this is also the ugliest box I've ever seen for a product. Uh, it's open down here at the bottom and at the top because I bought these used, which might be kind of gross actually thinking about it, but honestly, this is just an ugly box. And I guess it's supposed to look minimalistic and everything like that, but I just, I kind of hate the box. That's all it is. So opening it up, we have tape on the sides because this was retaped after, I guess, being returned by whomever returned it. Uh, and so it was actually able to open up easily. I assume that where these parts are, there was something to rip off instead. Um, and kind of on the side, I don't really know what this image is. This might be what it looks like on the inside. This might just be like a picture of the case itself. I'll show that. And here you have like all your product information. Kind of looks like it's pretty sterile looking. But either way, on the inside we have, I what is this? We have, oh, this is cool. Um, this is a tube that has the uh, USB adapter to charge these. You have your, I guess, in, easily instructions on how to set up. You have the actual manual here. This is really tiny, that's kind of interesting. And then on the inside, or maybe I have to open up from the other side, if I can get the tape off without making this ugly. Oh, we do, okay. On the other side we have, this is a tiny container, but these are the Nothing Earbuds. And one of the reasons why I chose these is because these, I like the, like, how clear and invisible they are. Not invisible, but see-through. Um, I like this, like, kind of minimalistic look. And actually, this case right here is pretty cool. You turn this to get the earbuds out. Um, actually, yeah, okay, this is really cool. This is better than that ugly box that they're in. But turning this is nice. You charge from up here. The earbuds are in here. And, yeah, this is, I guess, very a minimalistic approach. You have this cool tube that had all the containers. You have your USB, the ugly box, and yeah, these are the ear sticks by nothing. So some first impressions with the headphones themselves, well, the headphones, earbuds, is that if we look here, the it says nothing here. This part actually kind of feels like it, like it's like an illusion that it feels like it's cardboard, but it's not. It's like a soft plastic. And then, as I mentioned, this turning motion opens them up. I thought that was really cool. I like that so much. Uh, you can kind of see it, but there's a white light here that's blinking when it's charging. I have it plugged in as well. Um, and I think it's going to be like red when it's low battery and white when it's higher. Uh, for the earbuds themselves, I actually kind of got confused because I didn't know if this was like left or right. Hopefully this focuses, probably not. There's like a speakery part like right here and this, so I assume that would go there. And then this one also has the speakery part like right here. That will go here. But on the earbuds themselves, it doesn't say left or right unless I'm truly blind. Um, they have two colors on the back, a white and a red. I assume that's the indicator for left and right. 
Uh, for the earbuds themselves, they're actually a lot smaller than I thought compared to like an AirPod, or at least the first generation, where it's like the top part where the speaker is is bigger ish kind of around the same size but then like the tail part is a lot shorter which is interesting so when you put them in your ears as you can kind of see it kind of doesn't really show and you can't really see what exactly you're um wearing in your ears uh whereas ipods very recognizable you know that once you put these in everyone knows what exactly they are so for setup of these it's Seems like it's pretty simple. You just turn this so that it's open. There is a light that's on right here and there's a metal like button here, if it'll focus on it, that you just push. It switches to Bluetooth mode, I hope, I assume. You hold, maybe hold it down? So yeah, I guess I held it down and then the Bluetooth started blinking and now it's just looking for it on my phone. So after a few seconds, then the ear sticks actually were able to connect. Uh, the process kind of took a little bit longer than like other US, or not USB, other Bluetooth stuff. Um, that was a little bit more of a delay than I was expecting for connection, but in the end it's still connected and now let's try them out. So after my initial test with the Nothing Ear Sticks, uh, I tried them on three different songs, Japanese Breakfast, Paprika, or that also actually sounds like food. But the song is called Paprika by Japanese Breakfast. I also tried it on Goaded by Armani White and Walk by Pantera. And I am actually very surprised at how good these are. These don't have overwhelming bass. They don't have low vocals. Everything just sounds pretty balanced out and I'm not struggling to like hear any of like the vocalist voices I'm not struggling to hear of the any of the instrumentals and it it's actually I'm very surprised that these work pretty well now as I am listening to other musics right now I'm listening to a place for my head by Linkin Park and I am noticing that on my volume I'm a little bit under halfway um, on my volume controls. Uh, I remember with my AirPods when I tried them for the first time I would have to go at least more than halfway in order to be able to hear both instruments and treble But I'm less than halfway and I feel like everything is already louder than um, My other AirPods. I also noticed that they do fit pretty comfortably the ear sticks and when I turn my head in all directions That probably looks dumb. I don't feel like they're gonna fall out Whereas with my third generation AirPods, I f would feel them getting looser as uh, I would turn my head and do things like that. So that's pretty cool. They're pretty comfortable and they sound really good. This is right now, I'm so surprised at how much I'm liking these. The other thing about the uh, ear sticks by Nothing is that they do have an app like most other things do. Um, when you download the app, it's going to ask you if you want notifications, which I, I don't really know what that's for, but I accepted it. Um, you can join the improvement program to kind of uh, help them. But if you wanted to, you could have just set up the ear sticks that I just found out right now through the app instead of doing through Bluetooth. Either way works. Uh, it seems like the process goes a lot quicker um, with doing the app. It also shows you all the controls that the ear stick has that I completely forgot about. Um, and after kind of using these uh, tutorials and trying them out for myself, I feel like I didn't really like the controls as much as I thought I would. Um, they are kind of physical. When you do press, you can feel a button there. But I don't really like how it feels. It doesn't feel like sturdy. It just kind of... Like, I don't know, I feel like if you're going to press tight enough, it's going to break it. Um, it does feel responsive, but I don't know how responsive overall. And then after doing the tutorial part, you get to like the home screen, shows you the battery. You can go to equalizer and kind of change your presets of how you want the sound to be in your ears. Um, I tried all of them. I didn't really like voice or uh, more treble. Um, I kind of like the more bass one. Um, balance was okay as well. But uh, besides that, in the settings, you could do inner detection. So when you take them out, it pauses. Low lag mode, um, I didn't really notice a difference. Um, I like that there is a find my earbuds option where if you press the play button on both of them, it does make a noise so you can find them. Uh, that would have been helpful for my uh, I AirPods I lost. Um, there's firmware updates, 
and um, basically you can review the controls as well on the app. Um, the app is pretty cool. It mostly just if you want to like change your uh, volume settings and everything like that. All right, so what's up guys? I'm now out here doing my usual outdoors test with these headphones. Um, they still feel pretty good when I walk. I'm still out of breath when I walk and they, I still have it like under um, halfway on my volume so I don't have to turn these up pretty loud they're not noise canceling but they do block out a lot of sound now although I have given my praises to these nothing ear sticks uh, one thing that I am kind of bothered is actually like the shape of this case um, if you look at like the airpods case you got this nice little like square tic-tac fit in your pocket easily this one is a bit longer if you can kind of see it here and it I feel like it takes up more room in your pocket I don't know if there are any like third-party cases to hold this to make it easier kind of like how I have for my airpod generation 3 um, this cool case and has like the little carabiner to like hold it I don't know if there's anything that could be made for this or if they're even popular enough to have anything to be made for the ear sticks another thing that kind of bothers me and I forgot to mention this at the beginning but look at this what is the size of this? Like, we're getting kind of close to skull candy level here. Like, I just, is it really that difficult to include more than, what is this, one feet, two feet? Like, at least probably like a four to five to six foot cable in packaging. Um, maybe that's why I'm not in business. But I just feel like six feet, maybe even four or five between that range should be the standard of how long like a charging cable should be and then this one is more of a personal thing but when i first got these i thought like this was going to be more like digital like you would have like uh ear stick kind of moving it would show you battery life and everything here if that can like focus but it's just kind of uh see-through that's like paper or whatever underneath that just says ear stick and there's nothing like digital or cool about it so um that disappointed me just because i guess i thought it was going to be something cooler overall these are surprisingly good i'm honestly very impressed by these not only by the sound and how it doesn't um, overpower with like too much bass or overpower with too much treble and it also has an app unlike the airpods that you can change all of these and customize it the way you want to also for my phone recordings you can kind of hear that the microphone is pretty decent uh you can hear me pretty well there's no like outside sounds kind of interfering uh the volume did seem kind of low to me when i was watching my video over but i felt like the mic did a pretty decent job at capturing my voice and being able to kind of show it on video as well now if you are interested in getting your own nothing ear sticks um you can find these on amazon i'll give the price in a little bit but some other final things to kind of note for these uh it does have about a seven hour battery life for listening um it also has kind of a fast charging where i think you're able to get at least two hours of listening in only 10 minutes of charge which is pretty cool um, obviously the case the earbuds everything about this is just really cool especially when you like look at the airpods and the whiteness and everything like that these just are a very different design that i think is really cool um, and just for the aesthetic itself i already recommend it and i guess some final negatives um apparently when i was looking this up there isn't any automatic switching to different devices it just goes to the last one so for some people that might be difficult uh this case i don't know if there's any like covers or anything for it because it's such a weird shape um for like pockets and everything well it kind of looks like a case of like mini m ms but still it could be a smaller case um and basically yeah I love these and they're really cool. So if you are interested in buying them, you can find them on Amazon for a uh, full price. Right now it's $99. I think there might be a coupon on it as well. If you aren't afraid of buying used like I did, um, these used ones are actually pretty clean. So uh, maybe the person didn't use it before or maybe they just cleaned it really well. Or maybe I just grossly didn't notice and put it in my ears anyway. But used right now on Amazon is around $69, which is so much cheaper right now than AirPods, um, especially generation three, maybe not 
uh, maybe it's kind of close to generation one, but um, it is cheaper if you do need an alternative. So in the end, pretty cool, but has its errors. You already know, is it worth it? Let me know.